Dance Rosito Orchestra and welcome to Pantas Malaya. So, uh, today we are going to talk about uh, some topics under the platform technologies. And before we can fully understand what is platform technologies, what is the purpose or what is the importance of uh, learning platform technologies first we have to study or at least know the background of computer organization and architecture so if we say computer organization it is the realization of what is specified by the computer architecture uh, it deals how, the operation, uh, how operational attributes are linked together to meet the requirements uh, in other words, a computer organization is how these computer peripherals be connected to each other. So, this is for example by physical, your keyboard, your mouse connected to your uh, to your system unit, your monitor, your printer, camera, and any other peripherals. Or inside your motherboard, we have this um, <coughs> hard disk, we have this uh, random access memory, and the central processing unit the chip, the bridges, how they are uh, actually connected to each other, how they are being linked. Some organizational attributes are hardware details, control signals, and peripherals. Those things are under the computer organization. <coughs> and uh, in computer architecture, if we think about computer architecture, architecture to differentiate the computer organization to computer architecture uh, computer architecture deals with keeping operational attributes of the computer uh, or the processor to be specific it deals with details like physical memory the ISA or the instruction set uh, application of the processor the number of bits used to represent the data types input output mechanism and technique of addressing memories so <coughs> to sum it up or to differentiate with our um, with a very uh, basic explanation computer organization is more on uh, the, the physical aspects of the computer system but if we see computer architecture it is more likely on the the planning of the the software application so, architect so from the word architect and organization and would organize you say organize how they are linked how they are being connected to each other so that is computer organization if you see uh, the logical uh, aspect of the computer system the planning um, architect so how those things will work within the system like your RAM how it will react to the instructions uh, given by the central processing unit or other peripherals so that is under the computer architecture. So that's the two differences between um, computer organization and computer architecture. For example, uh, you are going to build again. In terms of the computer architecture, so you will design the value of each part. You have to plan how strong the power will be, the firing range, bullets, the abstract way, which is not visible, but mostly computational like programmers creating a program codes unreadable to normal people so that is for architecture so it's more logical <coughs> while on the other hand if we talk about the computer organization you will realize the plan in architecture so architecture plans uh, the your gun then an organization then in in computer organization you will have to realize that plan you will physically design the barrel the bullet the tubes uh, triggers handles uh, trigger guard the other component of the gun the previously plan and connect each part so architecture will plan how those materials will act will work uh, and the capacity and then on the other hand an organization will manifest that plan to, to 
build or to actually build your new gun and how how that's each part will be connected to each other to form a new gun so something like that the computer architecture and computer organization now to to have a more detailed uh, comparison between the computer architecture and computer organization so if we say computer architecture a uh, programmer will uh, programmer view so and we say organization it is transparent transparent from programmer uh, it does not worry about uh, and not worry much how addition is implemented in the hardware the, it will not uh, it will not it will not really uh, bother it in organization of how much will be the the, the, the work the, the task to be done within the computer system for example in the central processing unit but uh, how will it work how will it uh, accept the input and will produce the output uh, from keyboard dawat's uh, input then process it then how will the result be displayed in the computer monitor uh, while in architecture uh, logical so if we say computer architecture so it is logical so it will uh, always focus on instruction set addressing modes data types cache optimization while on the organization uh, it will um, focus on physical components like circuits design ad others signals peripherals so circuits uh, the the connectivity between those peripherals others and signals peripherals uh, those are uh, under the um, computer organization and then uh, in computer architecture uh, as concerned with uh, the way hardware components are connected together to form a computer system while in organization computer organization is concerned with the structure and behavior of a computer system as seen by the user so the computer architecture it uh, acts as the interface between uh, hardware and software while in computer organization it deals with the component of a connection and a system um, the interface between hardware and software um, say for example in a bit of example on the definition that architecture is uh, acting as the interface between hardware and software so for example you have your computer system you have a computer machine okay so you also bought a, a printer so if you install the printer in your uh, uh, computer with um, operating system of uh, Windows 10 you might actually uh, use the the printer already but you cannot uh, really decide or change the the paper size so by default you can print with Windows 10 with uh, other operating system which is way back um, say for example mga 2000 uh, Windows 7 or Windows XP uh, those uh, operating systems will not uh, let you print something with your comp uh, printer if it is not installed with a driver so you have to connect your compute uh, your your new printer to the computer and then install the driver that driver that will let you uh, manage your printer is actually part of the thing that we call architecture so it acts as the interface between hardware and software so that for example you will uh,
print using your keyboard, you press Ctrl P. That CTRLP is an input that will be recognized by your operating system. Now, the operating system is your um, architecture. Windows 7, Windows 10, Windows XP, uh, Windows 8. Those are the architecture, the uh, the software part of the computer system. So it will detect the button CTRL or Control and then the P that uh, it will be understood by the operating system as uh, to print something from the open document. And by that, the, the software, the operating system will send that signal to your printer. But how can that be signal sent to the printer with the help also of the driver that is installed in your computer? So the operating system works with the, the driver installed in your computer system to access that uh, peripheral, that hardware, that printer. That software part is the architecture while the organization, organization is uh, the connection the between your computer system and uh, the <coughs> printer so that um, USB connector, USB cord that you plug into your computer connected to your uh, printer so how did the computer manage to communicate with your printer using that uh, USB cord that part is uh, under the computer organization okay. well the system that lets you uh, interact with uh, the printer like pressing the control P um, it deals with the, the driver and the operating system so that is the architecture if you say architecture the computer architecture helps us to understand the functionalities of a system while in organization computer organization tells us how exactly all the units in the system are arranged and interconnected okay so what is architecture the functionalities is organization the arrangement and interconnection of those uh, units If we say computer architecture, so a big programmer can uh, view architecture in terms of instructions, addressing modes and registers, whereas uh, organization expresses the, the realization of architecture. So architecture planning, organization, the implementation of the plan. Architecture, while designing a computer system, architecture is considered first. Then after that consideration, here comes the organization. So an organization is done on the basis of the architecture. So from the word architect, architecture, so it uh, literally we can say it is synonymous to uh, planning. So if you say architecture, it is planning. For example, you are planning to build a new computer, a new generation of computer. So how will you design that computer system? You are now the architect, you plan the whole thing, you consider the important part of the system, how will it work? It will work? Like so for example, the power usage, the capacity of its memory, <coughs> the visual gra uh, the, the, uh, graphics included everything you are going to plan that one and in an organization is the connectivity of this uh, peripherals those uh, parts that you had planned to put into that uh, new computer system new generation of computer system computer architecture deals with high level design issues while the organization deals with the low level design issues because um, high level design issues in architecture because architecture is planning while in organization since it is the implementation of that planning of that plan so it deals with the level uh, low level design issues so it will not mind on the on the very detailed of 
uh, how will the computer works but uh, how will the computer be connected and facilitate those uh, proposed uh, features of the computer that is uh, already planned during the, the, the first phase and architecture architecture involves logic instructions addressing addressing modes data types and cache optimization Our organization involves physical components like circuits designs others signals and peripherals so that's it for the uh, comparison and the differentiation of computer architecture and computer organization if you have um, questions about uh, the topics please um, place your comment below we will try to answer your inquiries your questions regarding on the computer organization and the computer architectures differentiation and uh, comparison thank you so much